On the floor for the visiting team, at center, Victor Wembenyama. At power forward, Chris Bosch. At the other forward position, Jimmy Butler. At shooting guard, Tracy McGrady. At the other guard position, Michael Jordan. The head coach of the visiting team is Eric Spolstra. It's time to introduce the starting five for your home team. At guard, 6'3", number 19, And so the tip-off, it's Miami. So here's Miami's starting group. Tracy McGrady is out there with Jordan. Wembenyama. And there's Jimmy Butler. Then there's Chris Bosh. And it's Wembanyama in at the five. And that's just good quarter awareness by Bosh, finding the open man for the easy one. Here's Serbiak. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And here's Miami. Good ball movement here by Miami. Garnett with the block. KG has always had tremendous instincts, sends another one back the way it came. Here's Serbia. McGrady cover. And he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. <laughs> he just bangs down the one-handed. Mm -hmm. Two very easy points right here. Jordan passes to Wembanyama. Trying to get open is Butler. Ben Banyama edge the bucket. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a scorer like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And you got to love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this one. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. Well, this Jimmy is Benyama. one of the strongest aspects of Jimmy Butler's game. Jimmy play making Butler. for his teammates. Over the years, boy, he has gotten so much better. When Banyama has gone three for four from the floor tonight. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's Cassell. Garnett outside, four on the clock. No good on that one. And it's Miami the other way. To the inside, and Banyama. How about the big guy attacking the rim? The throwdowns are loud and emphatic. Minnesota off to a slow start. They trail by six. And looks like the illegal kick was set. Yep, that's right, that'll get their attention. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Miami? How about the ball movement so far? I mean, the unselfishness, everyone here just playing for one another, and that can be infectious. I think the other thing they've done a great job of is making their presence felt inside, converting tons of pain opportunities. Yep, it counts. Well, what a delivery. The catch and shoot for Garnett. Perfect. Miami leading by five. To the middle. Here's Wimbanyama. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Banyama has gone a nice five of six shooting from the field. Jordan against Cassell. And here is Serbia. He kicks it to Love. Over Bosch. And that one goes long. And he lobs it up toward the rim. An emphatic LU jam. 
Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Minnesota trails by nine. Timeout out call, first of the game for Minnesota. And no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. And it's a completely new lineup for Minnesota. Here's Towns. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Tremendous focus right there from Carl Anthony Towns. Shrugs off some pretty good defense and converts. And Carl Anthony Towns said he believes that he is the greatest big man shooter of all time. What do you think? Well, Kev, I think a, a guy by the name of Dirk Nowitzki might have a thing or two to say about it. But I love Carl Anthony Towns' attitude. You have got to believe in your skills if you're going to have the kind of success that Pat has had in this league. And we know he is lethal from deep. That's a, that's a tight handle of Rubio. He uses change of speed and direction so well. Passes to Wembanyama. Oh, and then one, no question, powered it down. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. I know it's early, but you have got to like the dominance down low. Right now, they are playing bully basketball. Sprewell, the pass to Leitner. 50 seconds left to play here in the first. Rubio against Jordan. And it's a defensive three-second violation. Minnesota shooting their first free throw of the game. Shooting for your home team. And no good on the technical, so unable to pick that one up. Well, Carl Anthony Towns, one of those five men that you can play in a big lineup, you can play in a small lineup. Because of the diversity of his offensive game, you can mix his spots on the floor. So important. Now here's Butler. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Hits it from three-point range. Now Jimmy Butler is not a volume shooter. He makes every shot count. That time, the delivery from deep. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. Great opportunity for a three-point play. The Timberwolves making a switch here. For Miami, they have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Butler deciding where to go with it. Sprewell, the pass to Marburg. Shot clock at six. The shot by Butler, nobody around. A three-pointer, no good. Pass to Wembanyama. Over Leitner. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's Miami going into the break with a 10-point lead. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Put down in his face. That's it, and the Miami lead is cut down now to just nine in the basket from Leitner. And the D has got to pay more attention to Leitner, especially when he's roaming around the basket. And how about that? What a sensational finish. Hey, you you got to be able to get some hang time to do that one. The pass to Zerbiak. Now, here's Butler. 102 left to play in the first half. And so it looks like the Timberwolves will retain possession here. And can't hit the shot, but they're saying he got hacked, so he'll head to the free throw line. First personal foul. It's on First Jimmy Butler. Foul. There's a level of physicality that Jimmy Butler plays with that he's going to force you to match. Nice job drawing contact. Butler passes to Wembanyama. And they get it back. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. for your home team. It's 47 seconds left in the first half. Pass to Marburg. Here's Leitner. Passes it to Marburg. The three. It's rebounded by Bosch. Bosch has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. To the paint. Here's Wimbanyama. Yet another bucket in close. 
That's how he's earning his points today. Here's Marburg. There's the lob to the hoop, and it's slammed in by Garnett. A guy with Marbury's vision is not going to miss that one. He's sending it right over the top to the shooter. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Here's Garnett. That's tipped. They retain possession. And so it's Miami, enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting, everything dropping in for them. Back to the action in just a minute. 